Look at me, 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 look at me now. Fuck, are you kidding me? You're the mother. All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kicks. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arm with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling, they start doing jiu-jitsu, they start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills and he does them all at his A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Fill the tape for this heavyweight fight. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart. Some differences in height and reach as well. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. If he is the fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 152 pounds. Fighting out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Bam Bam. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Doho Choi! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. gets underway and it's gonna be interesting to see how this matchup plays out definite striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all and in those situations normally the guy that's going well rounded will be the one that will find success i want to see how this plays out big punch lands over the top how's he gonna follow this one up oh superman punch choice head kick attempt that one is blocked right hand punches the clinch and he landed the right hand there. Oh, nice right hand counter. Oh, that straight punch is gonna be a real problem if they can't make the adjustment. A real problem. He needs to move his head defensively if he's gonna avoid getting hit so many times in the face. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Oh, collar tie. 
Nice strike. Well, he got his head snapped back by that straight hand there, and he's shown a vulnerability tonight by leaning right into that punch as he tries to set up his own offense. May want to focus on some defense here moving forward. Nice right hand. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing it. Well, oh, that's how you draw it up. Nice trip to secure the takedown. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. He's got to be careful. Dipping his head and throwing that jab. And they separate. <laughs> Counters with a right hand. Changes his stance. What a punch. They continue to exchange. He's in a good flow right now. He's landing big shots from the bar. Lands a kick. Big right hook coming. It's blocked. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Just out of range with that strike. Oh, that's a good right hand. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Let's we'll see what we'll it, Ty. And there comes the separation now. Great punch. Serve him up. Go get him. So there's that takedown defense on full display yet again. It's held up for him. He does a fantastic job of squaring up his hips, getting his legs back, and understanding not to allow his opponent to get going on his takedown finish. Oh, spinning back is not Kick lands. Plus right hand is true. Just out of range with that left hook. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Well, he misses with the left punch there. It's such a fast leg kick. Another big leg kick lands. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. I have a novel idea. Maybe the opponent should try to check one of these. He's got to try to check them, but he can't, John, because there's no wind-up. Yeah. There's no tell. And when he feels his opponent is getting a beat on his leg kicks, he'll just pop a jab up, get the hands up to block the face, blast the leg kick on the bottom. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that is so diverse yeah. and has such a great understanding of landing these leg kicks. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Oh, hook to the head by Choi. That was a nice strike. Oh, single collar tie here. Round two next. All right, so there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round. And get that man a singlet, man, right? Offensive wrestling on point tonight. That was a tutorial. That was every single takedown you could secure in a fight. He did it all the right way. He's beating his opponent to the finish before he can try to sprawl and respond. He's a step behind. If he's going to stop these takedowns going forward, he needs to react a little quicker. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him, too. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. What a tricky head kick. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by the Korean Super Bowl. Big head kick lands. 
Ball left hook to the head, it's blocked. Just misses with a left hook there. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. This head's still attached to his body. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, it was Overeem versus Ngannou. And you know they still haven't found Alistair Overeem's head. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may blow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into this strike. Well-placed kick there by Short. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this place. Go finish his fight. Oh, he might be out. Start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Oh, nice right hand. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Huge block there. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie, and they separate. Oh, and even Ari roll right into a heel hook attempt or so it looks. Man, this is flashy, but certainly effective here tonight. Let's see if he can close the show from here. Oh, nice. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out, or guys start to attack triangle. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. Yep, there absolutely. You well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Sound strike on the ground. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Oh, the ground and pound is there. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. And plenty of time with which to work. 30 seconds to go on the round. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes. He continues to light him up. Got to be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you got to like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Big power shot there. Slips to avoid that round. And they separate. And that's the end of round number two. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight.
He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. You ready? You ready? Third round underway. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh, big head kick. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, tags him again with a flush left hand. All right, single collar tie now. That is how you scramble, folks. Leg kick there by Chor. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Oh, big punch land. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by the Korean Super Bowl. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Oh, high-level takedown defense there. He continues to stuff every takedown attempt throughout this round. Oh, beautiful knee to the body by him there. Again, he talked off the top about his size advantage, and he put it to good use there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Good stick. Single collar tie now. And both guys really throwing with authority. Big knee lands to the body. Oh! Now goes in and secures the takedown. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts. He jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock. And if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. He needs to push the arm to the side. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. Oh, he might have got him with a choke. All right, side control now, DC. When you get side control in a fight, what are you looking at? When I get to the side control in the fight, and I believe this young man should do the same thing, it's secure first. Grab everything in tight. Make sure your elbows are in. Make sure you've got something locked in so your opponent doesn't just squirm away. Punch. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's got to be over very soon. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active in your feet. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, nice kick. Oh! oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Battling for hooks. Nice punch there. Choi's kick to the body here. That one appeared to be blocked. Oh, and he gets tagged. Beautiful combination there. And I'm not sure how many more of those power shots he can take, honestly. The night is almost over. If you keep getting hit with punches like this, you are going to sleep. A little single collar tie there. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. That was just thrown to end the fight. Yeah. <laughs> oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Well, missed on that one. Went inside on that leg kick through the 
jab left hook and went inside. Usually, you know, you see guys throw the outside kick there. That was nice. Beautiful punch. Big left hook coming in front. So far. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the cut on his nose, and you have to at least ask the question at this point in time. Maybe he's dealing with a broken nose. You certainly don't want to blow the nose. That will result in the eyes swelling shut, but a definite source of adversity here after this round. All right, let's check out some of the action DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. And it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up his body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Flips that left hand. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Not there. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. Well, he landed a big knockout in the previous round, and you can just tell his confidence is growing from here. His confidence is through the roof, as it should be. He's doing a great job right now of landing strikes. He just now has to find the one that's going to end the night. Oh, nice punch there by Chor. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Pretty good right hand. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Oh, slips to avoid the right. Spinning back fist. Oh, what a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 29 seconds of round number four. Playing the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Hu Ho Chong. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight. I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, you got that done.